We're back at 741. We've got one of the women at the center of that Donald Trump tape addressing the controversy this morning. This comes as Trump faces what could be an onslaught of new unflattering recordings from his past. NBC's Hallie Jackson has more on that. Hallie, good morning. Hey, good morning to both of you. And this morning, a new look at the damage done by that 2005 audio that surfaced of Donald Trump. Our latest NBC News Wall Street Journal poll taken after the news of that broke Friday shows him trailing Hillary Clinton by double digits now nationally. The fallout potentially far from over as now we're getting new public comments from one woman caught up in the controversy. After a career covering Hollywood, an unwanted spotlight for Nancy O'Dell. I feel that it's very important that I address you all directly. O'Dell referencing that bombshell audio clip of Donald Trump talking about her in 2005 Hello. during a taping of Access Hollywood, a program owned by NBC Universal. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was gorgeous. And I moved on her very heavily. And she, I moved on her like a bitch, <laughs> but I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony. And everything. She's totally changed her looks. There is no room for objectification of women or anyone for that matter, not even in the locker room. The conversation has got to change because everybody deserves respect, no matter the gender or setting. Now, the hunt for more We're hot mic moments intensifying. The Huffington Post reporting it obtained a transcript of a 2010 apprentice taping, portions of which never aired. Trump begins, don't put this blank on the show, you know, saying the skin of a woman who appeared on the program, quote, sucks, adding she needs some serious blank dermatology. This is a tough one. You're While fired. Huffington Post says You're it has fired. authenticated the alleged fired. transcript, NBC fired. News You're hasn't fired. done so independently. All of it adding pressure to the makers of The Apprentice to release off-air footage. The show's producer now breaking his silence. A statement from Mark Burnett and production company MGM says Burnett does not have the ability nor the right to release apprentice material with MGM restricted by, quote, contractual and legal requirements. Trump's troubles with women predicted by the candidate himself years ago, saying this about Bill Clinton's scandals of the 90s on Hardball in 1998. Can you imagine how controversial I'd be? You think about <laughs> him with the women. How about me with the women? Can you imagine? Well, you might Still, some women standing firmly by Trump's side. Something said 11 years ago has no effect on me or any other Trump supporter. We don't care. Also sticking by Trump, one of his top supporters, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who now this morning is speaking out publicly for the first time since that 05 audio surfaced. Here's what the governor said on WFAN radio just this morning. That kind of talk and conversation, even in private, is just unacceptable. You know, I made that very clear to Donald on Friday um, when this first came out um, and, you know, urged him to be contrite and apologetic because that's what he needs to be. But I think that, you know, he should have been much more direct and much more focused on saying, just saying I'm sorry and only I'm sorry. Christie added he was really upset about what he heard, but believes this election is about bigger issues. Matt, Savannah. All right, Hallie Jackson. Hallie, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.